Hey everyone, Rarity Dash here. Time for another My Little Pony, Fringe of His Magic, Season 6, Blind Commentary. And today I'm going to be reacting to Episode 11 of Season 6, Flutter Brother. Uh, so yeah, that title makes it all too obvious what this episode is going to be about. Uh, I think it was about a year ago that we found out that Fluttershy had a brother at like a convention. One of the writers mentioned it and said that we would be meeting him eventually. And a lot of people expected it to be in Season 5 since, uh, yeah, that was what was happening at the time. Uh, but then, yeah, it didn't happen anywhere in Season 5. And, uh, yeah, now it finally is. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited for this because... Yeah, it, I, I always like meeting new family members. I uh, I really liked Hearthbreakers. I liked uh, Mod Pie, obviously, and also yeah, I liked me Shining Armor back in the day. That was pretty cool. Uh, and we don't know anything about Fluttershy's family or upbringing, so this might provide some useful insight into her character and be pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I know a lot of people think I'm down on the Fluttershy episodes, but that's not really true. When they come around, I want to like them. And uh, I often do like them. There are a lot of Fluttershy episodes I do really like. Uh, so I'm not expecting to dislike this, and I'm hoping that I do like it. And uh, yeah, hopefully it's a pretty good one. Uh, uh, as usual, don't know any spoilers, uh, aside from the fact that yeah, Fluttershy has a brother. That's been news for a way long time now, so... Uh, yeah, didn't didn't keep away from that. But uh, only thing I do know is the writer, and it's Dave Rapp, who uh, another new to season six writer, the guy who wrote Newbie Dash, which I know probably stirred some controversy when he was announced as the writer, since I mean a lot of people didn't really like Newbie Dash, but uh, <laughs> I did, so I'm pretty excited here. Though to be fair, I liked. Uh, the gift of the Mod Pie, and then was disappointed by the second episode from the Fox Brothers. But, uh, yeah, hopefully this won't be the same story here, that uh, second episode brings disappointment. Uh, I don't think it will. I have a good feeling about this one. I think it's going to be a good episode. And uh, hopefully that feeling pans out. Let's get started and see. Okay. And here we go. I'm so happy you can Got... come have lunch with your oh, father. Oh, but he's a flourish his parents. Okay. I'm so glad you That's asked. cool. And it was super awesome Meeting even more like family than I thought. Things have been so busy and Rainbow Dash is there too. <laughs> it's great to get a chance to relax someplace quiet. That's exactly what I intend to do now oh, that wow. I'm tired. In fact, I converted the back house to showcase my cloud collection. <sighs> I have my clouds. Your mom has her They flowers. seem a little too nice. <laughs> and your brother? Zephyr Breeze has his Zephyr Breeze. Interests. Sounds like an oh, OC hey. name. Remember when he was convinced square clouds were going to be the next big thing? <laughs> He's matured a lot since then. Actually, it's <sighs> funny you bring Zephyr up. I can kind of see why Fluttershy was so comfortable in no, Starlight's village now. <laughs> it's just for a little while, dear. Till he just the voices on her parents. Oh. <laughs> That's right, Big Sis. It's your one and only favorite little brother, a moi. Uh huh. Aww. Okay, I'm I'm intrigued. My little pony, my little pony. I used to wonder what friendship could be. My little pony. Until you all shared its magic with me. Big adventure, lots of fun. Zephyr Breeze. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, where's the love? I see Dave Rapp still likes his cringe humor. I'm just surprised. When you left, you said main therapy was your calling. <sighs> oh, it is, sis. It is. You would not believe how much stress ponies hold. A story by veins. Megan. Everything okay. gets limp and unmanageable. No offense, but brushing alone won't solve the problem. What went wrong? Nothing went wrong per se. It's just the powers that be were so locked into their required styles, and you know me. 
I've got my own style, and I think they were a little threatened. <sighs> oh, this is lovely, dear. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it isn't Rainbow's the best flyer that ever was, Dash. Oh, well, this ought to be good. Sorry, I, I shouldn't tease you. I know the whole super awesome flyer bit's just to impress me. Still, okay. It's, it's sweet. <laughs> I kind of thought there'd be more ponies here. I mean, what about your party planner friend, um, Sprinkle Pie? She could turn this into a real house. Am I right? I mean, this place could get Oh, wow. This Grab. character. <laughs> I, uh, we have been meaning to redecorate. Dad, <laughs> please. When I get all my stuff back in here, you won't even remember what this boring old place looked like. <sighs> um, Mom, Dad, can I talk to you for a second? <laughs> what is it, honey? Oh, that I picture. Sure letting Zephyr move back home is a good idea. I know you both want to help, but don't you remember last time? Zephyr's just trying to find his place, dear. Oh, I know. It just seems like his place always ends up being your place. And then he sort of makes you do everything for him. Well, we may not be as bold as you, Fluttershy, but don't you... Not as bold as Fluttershy. <laughs> That's something. And they were all like, we love your free spirit, Zeph, and it will be wrong to cage that. Go follow your dreams. Rainbow da Dash is not Zeph impressed. Zeph was just telling me all about the ins and outs of main therapy school. It's all so political. I just could not take it. Well, maybe if you stuck with it for more than a few weeks. Sorry, Sam. <laughs> Sutton's not the right fit, but this pony's gotta fly. Anyway, good talk, Rainbows. I am so touched you came to see me. Really, I hate to deprive you of my presence, but this breeze needs his Z's. You know it's the middle of the day, right? I know. Siesta. I'm just gonna assume you made up my room the way I like it, right, Mom? Oh, I almost forgot. All my stuff is out front. Want to grab that for me, Pops? <laughs> Thanks. <sighs> Same old Zeph. And back to Ponyville. I know you weren't expecting to see your brother, but you've been kind of quiet. Even for you. I'm sorry, but I am just so... Uh, so... peeved right now. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, that was terrible, Fluttershy. Rainbow Dad! Fluttershy! It's me, Pinkie Pie! Your friend! Oh, um, sorry about that. We just had lunch with Fluttershy's parents, and you'll never guess who showed up. Woo! Mare Mare? Crazy Doodle! <laughs> cheese sandwich! Miss Arshmini! Mention of cheese sandwich. And from the look on your face, I'm guessing it's for another one of his extended stays. So they all know Fluttershy's brother. She's a bit peeved. Zephyr is my brother and I love him, but he's never learned to do anything for himself. And I don't know why my parents keep letting him trot all over them. Well, if your parents won't stand up for themselves, maybe you need to stand up for them. You know, you're right. Hmm. I'm liking this. Come to see me work my magic and turn this place from drab to fab, huh? Well, watch and learn. Can't you see what you're doing? Yeah, I'm getting rid of this old stuff so I can turn the back house into my art studio. I decided I'm going to be a sculptor. Of course. I'm talking about Mom's flowers. Aww. She's going to move them so I can have my meditation patio here. She loves replanting stuff, don't you, Mom? And Dad's been collecting his favorite bits of cloud from the factory since before you were born. Oh, he works at the cloud factory? The very best from every production run since my first day on the job. <sighs> but why hold on to the past, really? You can't just fly in and change everything Mom and Dad have built here. 
But this is the only place big enough for my studio slash meditation garden. Oh, unless I do it in the living room. I know speaking up for yourself can be hard. Believe me. But Zephyr will never stand on his own if he can lean on you. Don't be so dramatic, sis. Mom and Dad just want to let me be me, right? I can do plenty on my own. I agree, which is why you should move out. Oh, well, I mean, uh, I totally would. But I don't think that's what Mom and Dad want. <laughs> it's not, is it? Wow, this guy. Uh, you know we love you, son. But your sister has a point. Sure. I mean, I really just came back here to keep you guys company, but whatever's best for the family. I just, I just gotta grab a few essentials. And you definitely have somewhere else to go? Of course! There's plenty of ponies who'd love for a little breeze to blow their way. <laughs> Well, where is this going to so, go now? where is Zep going to go now? Yeah. I'm not That's... sure. Oh, I hope I did the right thing. Are you kidding? 100%. Hey, sis. Okay, yeah. You're kind of expected that. I <laughs> don't think this is going to last. Okay, maybe like 70%. <laughs> Um, Zephyr, when Mom and Dad told you to find someplace else to live, I don't think they meant here. Well, it's not their house, so by definition, it's someplace else. Am I right, Rainbows? Stop boogling me and help me. <laughs> you know what? I totally forgot that I promised to help Pinkie Pie sprinkle something. <laughs> Sprinkling things is important. To go. <sighs> Fine, you can stay here. You're the best. We're gonna have so much fun. On one condition. Totally anything. You have to get a job. Cracking the whip, huh? <coughs> you always were kind of bossy. Super breeze. Kidding. Get a job. Absolutely. You have no idea how bad morning sun is for your mane. Remember how we talked about you getting a job? It was just yesterday, and it's totally on my to-do list. But you can't expect me to find something befitting my awesomeness overnight. I thought you might say that. Oh, okay. So Gonna have... <laughs> what? Put, push him onto rarity. <laughs> need to be dyed those colors. Do you think you can handle that? Well, she does need more more employees. She has a lot on her plate these days. And I head to the store for more supplies. Ta -da! Good luck. Not sure if this is going to work out, though. <laughs> yeah. My brother, a job. I just hope he's up to the task. Oh, darling, dyeing fabric is the simplest thing. You just dip cloth in a box. <gasps> Uh huh. <laughs> Rarity, you're back! What did you do? Since you talk to animals all the time, I just figured it runs in the family, so why not outsource this stuff, you know? <laughs> the communication thing isn't genetic. Zephyr, I asked you to do this job, not to pawn it off on innocent woodland creatures. Okay, I guess you have some feelings about this, but you should know it's basically your cat's fault for walking by and giving me the idea. But I'm actually kind of into this look. So I guess what I'm saying is, you're welcome. Uh, what, uh, what, uh, uh, Zephyr, this is just unacceptable. Wow, I guess I know when my efforts aren't appreciated. Yeah, that didn't last. <laughs> Whoa, those are tall. I'm glad you noticed because they're your now. new job. What? You said you were taking me to tea with the princess. Actually, I said I was going to tea with the princess. You're going to work. Now, Sis, come Twilight. On. 
Don't worry, Zephyr. It'll be easy. I just need a Pegasus pony to fly up and wipe each window down from top to bottom. And I'm here to make sure you do it right. Huh? Wow, huh? Zephyr. This looks amazing. Well, you know, like you said, it was easy. Where's Spike? Up here! You were supposed to supervise, not do all the work. I was supervising, and then Zephyr asked me about different cleaning techniques and which one was best. Oh, Spike, you're I easy to ma ma manipulate here. Don't let him fool you. <laughs> Old Spike is quite the taskmaster. Oh, Myra. come on, sis. I had to ask Spike to make sure I was doing it right. You didn't do it at all. Well, I guarantee there won't be any fooling around on the next job. Next job? We're not going to try Applejack, are we? Or a Rainbow Dash first. You're coming with me! You don't have to come up with some excuse to hang out with me, Rainbows. Let's just he go totally has a thing for Rainbow Dash. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> completely awkward. to Wonderbolt's headquarters. And I am going to give you a job so simple and straightforward, not even you can weasel your way out of it. And the second you try, I'm going to zap you with a storm cloud. Got it? Oh, I got it. I can already feel the electricity between us. Uh. Rainbow Dash is crazy, okay? She can <laughs> do it right when she asked me to do it. It's insane. So you just quit? Again? Escaped is more like it. Besides, what was I supposed to do? Keep trying. Finish something for once. Maybe that way you'd actually find something you like to do. That all sounds fine for your friends, but it's just not me. Then I'm sorry, Zephyr, but I don't think you can live here. Fine. I'll just go live in the woods like my four ponies before me. Can count on is his own. Oh, cheer up, Fluttershy. I know it was hard, but you did the right thing. You couldn't let Zephyr pull the same stuff on you that he's always pulled on your folks. I guess so. Oh, hello, Constance. Constance. Oh, oh dear. Yeah, he's. See, Wigford, the breeze needs no pony. <laughs> oh, wow. I need to put the old kettle on. This guy's just really hopeless. Sticky, sticky. I, uh. The sparks. It's kind of sad. <laughs> uh, what's a pony gotta do to find a decent stick around here? <laughs> I know he needs to learn to do things for himself, but no, I can't let him live like this. Actually, I don't think he'd make it through the night. <laughs> Very good point, Rainbow Dash. <laughs> Fluttershy! Hey, I was just, um, cozying up in my sleeping bag, ready to call it an early night. Such an exhausting day, you know? It's noon. You know me. Siesta. <sighs> uh, I can't do this. I can't do anything. Zephyr, you're smart and talented. You Is he? You could do anything if you just tried. And what if I give everything I have and still fail? Honestly, I think it's better not to try at all. But then you won't ever do anything. I don't expect you two to understand. I mean... When have you ever failed? You've literally helped save Equestria like a dozen times. And I was worried that I don't know if it's literally time. a dozen quite Sometimes yet, but <laughs> you have to do things even though you might fail. But failing is the worst. And quitting doesn't feel much better, does it? No. So here's the deal. You can come back with me, but you have to do exactly what I say. No exceptions. I will literally do anything you ask me. If it means I don't have to stay here. Okay, you know what 
you have to do, right? Beg for help, then quit when I get frustrated. <sighs> Just kidding! Total opposite of that. <laughs> Got it. You think he can do it? Every pony oh. has times in and their sudden life song. When their hearts are filled with Been a while since we had a Fluttershy song, though. Oh, he's singing too! And it makes you wanna shout. Pretty good singing voice, too. But if you just take that and we got step, Rainbow Dash. Next one will appear. And you find you can walk, then run, then fly into the stratosphere. You've got to give it your best so you can pass the test. Liking this. Pretty good song. Every pony has times in their life when their hearts are filled with doubt. But if you just give it your nice message, and it sounds pretty cool. And I know I can't give up too soon. Get myself in the zone. And I find I can walk and run. Actually finished something by myself, and it looks exactly like it's supposed to. I knew you could do it, Zephyr. I didn't, <coughs> but I do now. Thanks for believing in me, sis. Aww. That's what big sisters are for. So, uh, Zeph, now that you've accomplished this, what's next? Anything I want. I mean, the sky's the limit, right? You know, I've got some baby steps in mind. Thanks for dinner, Mr. and Mrs. Shy. <laughs> it was Mr. great. <laughs> Mrs. Shy. Thank you, dear, for not giving up on Zephyr. After all these years of pining for him, it must be so satisfying oh. to see him on the right track. <sighs> <sighs> they <Have> believe him. <laughs> Is he doing well? I tell you, he's a brand new pony. So <laughs> believe him about Rainbow Dash. <laughs> Guess who graduated from main therapy training? <laughs> awesome! Congratulations, son. You look so handsome. I'm so proud of you, Zephyr. It was only a matter of time before they recognized my true genius. But actually doing the work probably helped. Yeah, I wouldn't have yeah. if it weren't for you. Oh, I just gave you some encouragement. You did this on your own. And honestly, right now I feel like I can do anything. Except find a place. I can still crash here for a few days, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say that was a really good episode. I enjoyed that quite a bit. Uh, another solid standout episode definitely makes up for last week where I was so disappointed. This one was good. Season 6 is back on track. Because uh, this was actually probably my favorite Fluttershy episode since Keep Calm and Flutter On. So, best Fluttershy episode in like three whole seasons for me. So, 
that's pretty cool. Because uh, this one, I really liked Fluttershy here. She was great. This was her in just the right element. The, the, the part of her that appeals to me the most. And it was just such a strong showing for from her. It really showed that she is a character who has grown, who uh, really has learned things and take the, taken them to heart. Uh, seeing her stand up for her parents, that was great. And seeing her guide her brother along, that was also great. This was just... This is what I wanted from Fluttershy for a long time now. And uh, to finally get it, I'm just really pleased. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, it was also a really entertaining episode, really funny episode, and a lot of the reason is Zephyr Breeze just, <laughs> he is quite the character. Uh, not at all what I was expecting for Fluttershy's brother, but that's not a bad thing, because it was, it was very entertaining. He's just like this complete ball of failure, and uh, <laughs> has this just totally obnoxious personality. I can see a lot of people not liking this character just because he is so obnoxious. I mean, that's the point, but a lot of people just aren't probably going to respond to this well. But for me, it really worked. It was really entertaining, and uh, just seeing all the situations he got himself into, it was it was a lot of fun. And uh, <laughs> I especially loved his interactions with Rainbow Dash. That was probably the highlight here, just because... She is so obviously not into him that it just becomes hilarious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was, that was, that was fun. <laughs> and, uh, also it's good to meet Fluttershy's parents. I mean, I don't know if they were quite what I was expecting, just like really, really nice ponies, kind of like Fluttershy herself, uh, though maybe even... <laughs> More on the nice, shy side. <laughs> uh, but, uh... Yeah, yeah, they worked. They were they were pretty uh, entertaining, and it's good to meet them. I like meeting family members. Didn't expect that here. I mean, just from the title, I was thinking we'd only meet the brother. But, uh... Yeah, it's good to finally uh, see where Fluttershy comes from, to some extent. And, uh... Yeah, that, that, that was a nice treat. I uh, Hopefully we'll meet uh, Rainbow's family uh, now pretty soon. That's the only one that really remains as far as family goes. I mean, we've seen her father in a few shots now, but uh, we haven't really spent any time with uh, that family or really seen if there's more to it. I mean, I don't know if she has any siblings or whatnot, but... Uh, but, yeah, that, that that's something definitely that we still need to, need to see. Though... Yeah, we've seen everyone else's family now. Uh, and, uh, yeah, just overall, this was a great episode. I uh, really liked it, and I'm looking forward to seeing what uh, what we get next week in the final episode before the mid-season hiatus. Uh, anyway, hope you liked the commentary. Let me know if you did, and see you in the next one.